What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trick your iPhone out. Here's a beginner's guide to Nugget. With Nugget, you can do some seriously awesome stuff and trick your iPhone out. It even works on iOS 26 beta. Get the new liquid glass design and still use all of your favorite poster board customizations. Still weird that we went from iOS 18 to iOS 26, but it does work which is awesome. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. Let's talk about device requirements in order to use this. You'll need an iPhone or an iOS device on at least iOS 17.0 or later. You'll also need a computer for now, as Nugget needs a computer for most of these features for now. There's now also a way to get the incredible wallpapers you see on device without a computer. More on that a little bit later. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm gonna use Mac for this guide. Download Nugget for your computer from the link down below in the description. Download the Mac OS ARM version if you have any of Apple's M series chips in your Mac. Make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Open the .dmg you downloaded, and once it's mounted, move Nugget over to the Applications folder. Now just go ahead and open Nugget. With the newest update, permissions are different, so you don't have to worry about going into settings to be able to use it. Connecting the device. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click the reload button in Nugget. Then your device will show up. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. With that being said, there's a ton of awesome stuff you can do here, so let's get started. Poster board, the coolest wallpaper feature since sliced bread. It works on the latest iOS version and the latest iPhone. And yes, that even includes iOS 26 beta. The first thing in the menu bar is the poster board section. If we click on Discover Wallpapers, that will bring you to a page where you can see a curated list of some of the awesome wallpapers that are currently available. This list is constantly changing as more developers and designers create more wallpapers. There's also a Discord server you can join, and I'll throw that in the description, and that has a bunch of wallpapers as well. In the poster board settings, there's also a video option as well, where you can make any video your wallpaper. Select all of the .tendies wallpapers that you downloaded, and then once you do that, you'll be ready to go. Then, once you're ready, click the Apply Changes button. And now the device will reboot and do its magic in the background. We're greeted by the hello screen. We may need to go through parts of the setup process, but then after that, now we can go and try to add a new wallpaper. And once we do that, you can see in the collection section, the wallpapers that we just added are right there. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. ESR is the number one MagSafe accessory brand that offers high quality MagSafe cases, chargers, and much more. The iPhone 16 Halo Lock case has a nice convenient kickstand that flips out near the camera. This way you can prop up your phone and watch YouTube or Netflix. This case feels premium and sturdy, and that's thanks to ESR's military grade protection. The camera control button also works through the case as well. Pair the case with a MagSafe accessory and it's got a super clean look. This wallet lets you hold a bunch of different cards and it also flips out to be a stand too. ESR's Geo Wallet is also Find My compatible as well, so if you lose it, you can find it. ESR also has other MagSafe accessories available, such as a MagSafe power bank and it just attaches to the back of your phone like so and it's super convenient if you need a quick charge. I even used it on my phone while recording this ad spot. If you wanna pick up a MagSafe case or an accessory for your iPhone, you can get 25% off your purchase with the discount code at checkout. Special thanks to ESR for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Incredible wallpapers on the go without a computer. With this app, you can get the incredible dynamic wallpapers you've seen without a computer. Okay, technically you'll need your computer one time to go into the Nugget desktop app and then click one button and you're good to go. Go into the app settings on your device and tap detect. And there you go, it should auto fill the app hash. You also may need your computer as well to do the initial sideloading process for the app, but after you set all of that up, you're good to go. 
Then go to the Nugget Wallpapers website and find some wallpapers you want and select Open in Pocket Poster. Then apply it and it'll do its thing. Then once it opens the poster board app, just make sure to force quit out of it in the app switcher. And now just go add a new wallpaper and here under collections, here's the new wallpaper that we just added. It's that easy. Believe it or not, there are some people in the year 2025 that don't have constant access to a computer. This is great because this allows you to use one of the best features of Nugget without constantly having access to a computer. When this app expires every seven days, if you have a free developer account though, you will need to go back and re-sideload it. However, this is great. And of course, like I said before, it does work on iOS 26 beta. If you already know about Nugget or you've seen my previous videos, this may not be news to you, but these wallpapers are nothing short of incredible. Developers and designers just keep getting more and more creative and it's really cool to see. Templates. Developers can also create templates for wallpapers as well. These are .batter files and these are better for the user since the user can customize specific options for the wallpaper. In this one, for example, I have more control over which versions of the wallpaper I want. You can see in this collection, there's winter, fall, spring, and summer, all of the seasons here, and I can toggle on and off different versions of the wallpaper that I want. This one gives me a spatial photo-like effect, and it lets me customize the image that I want. There's also other aspects of the wallpaper I can customize, and it really gives you granular control over certain specific things that you would not be able to change with just regular attendees files. Tapping the plus icon and scrolling down to collections, you can see there is the template that I customized. In the future, the on-device method should support both video and templates as well. Status bar. The status bar option allows you to customize parts of your status bar. I can change the carrier text, so instead of it saying Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever, I can fully customize it and have it say Apple Attack. Again, there's a bunch of other options in here for you to customize. Once you're ready, click the Apply Changes button and then it will go ahead and apply the changes to your device. Now going to our control center, you can see the carrier name is Apple Attack. That's pretty cool. Depending on what iOS version you're on, you may be able to do just a little bit more with Nugget. This device is on iOS 17.0. Mobile gift stall. If you're on iOS 18.1.x and below, when connecting your device, an option called mobile gift stall will appear inside of Nugget. This can enable things like always on display and dynamic island on older unsupported devices. And also, of course, before anyone asks, Mobile Gestalt does not work on iOS 18.2 and up, it was patched. So enabling things like Always On Display and Dynamic Island is no longer possible on newer iOS versions as of right now. If you're on a compatible iOS version, check out the original video I made about Nugget where I go into more detail about Mobile Gestalt. I also show you how to save the Mobile Gestalt file, which you'll need to use every time you want to customize something in Mobile Gestalt. Miscellaneous. There's a bunch of options to customize your device even further. In the springboard section, you have some pretty cool things like being able to customize the lock screen footnote text. After you type what you want it to say and apply the changes, you'll see when your device comes back, there it is. This doesn't replace the swipe up text, rather it actually adds a second text to the lock screen, so this is actually pretty interesting. Either way, I think this is pretty cool. There's an option to customize some internal settings here, but I really wouldn't recommend messing around with much of this unless you're an advanced user and you know what any of this is. The daemons feature here for regular users doesn't really do all that much. It lets you disable things and turn functions on and off. However, the disable OTA option could be useful because that will disable OTA updates on your device. There's also a couple of extra features in the settings here like enabling supervision, which is what's required when delay OTAing your device, and allow applying over Wi-Fi and other things as well. Clearing collections and removing all tweaks. If you want to get access to new wallpapers or completely uninstall all of the wallpapers you downloaded, go into the poster board section inside of Nugget and make sure under clear action you have collections selected. 
Then click apply changes and the device will restart. When the device restarts, you may still see your custom wallpapers. This is by design because what it's doing is clearing out the wallpaper collection section and not actually clearing out the custom wallpapers that you added. This way, by repeating the step, you can install as many custom wallpapers as you want. So how do you delete these wallpapers? Well, all you have to do is just make sure that the wallpaper that you don't want is deleted in the carousel of the wallpapers that you have. And it's pretty easy to do that. Just swipe up on the wallpaper you don't want and tap the trash icon. You can also reset and clear collections on device as well. In the future, you should be able to do it automatically directly inside of the Pocket Poster app. For now though, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Here's how to do it. Open the language settings on your device by going to settings, general, and language and region. From there, set a different language as the primary language on your device. It doesn't matter what language, just make sure it's different. Then once you do that, it will restart your device with the changes. Now go try to add a new wallpaper and scroll all the way down to where collections would be. And now it should just be whatever the default collections was for your device. And now you should just be able to set the language back to normal. If you want to get rid of any other tweaks that Nugget added, all you have to do is just go back to Nugget desktop and make sure that you press the remove all tweaks button. Once the device restarts, you should see all of Nugget's changes have been reverted. Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That is a beginner's guide to Nugget. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.